Hi, I'm Brett Gibbs from Technical Training. Today's video is about assembling the new Easy Tiger pole jacks. So the first thing we need to do is undo the chains that um, are there for transport purposes. To do that, we have this chain here, which prevents this latch from coming undone and that tray from sliding out. We also have locking devices here, which will actually hold the pole jack in place for transport purposes. We undo those them out the way. We also have a safety chain up the top here for the pole jack. Undoing this latch here, we now are able to slide this tray out so we're not reaching in and, and using our backs. So first thing we need to do, on the other side of the truck you'll find the ground plate. The ground plate is the part that sits on the ground and your pole fits in there which now your pole jack is going to sit onto that. Then what we need to do, slide the tray out so we're not using our back to bend over and lift the base plate out for the pole jack. Lifting the base plate out, we now sit that between the locating bolts on the ground plate. To get the tiger jack, we need to, so we're not lifting in and hurting our backs, we need to slide this tray back in so it's not in our way. So we slide it in and lock it into place. We now need two people to lift the actual pole jack out of the stand and into the base. To do that, lean in, slide it forward. You right? Yep. Fitting it into the groove. Now we have the pole jack in place in the base. We need now to get the lifting ring out of the cradle. To do that, we then slide the tray back out. So we're, again, we're not lifting, bending and lifting. The spikes go towards the pole. This is where we need to be careful. We may create pinch points. So we need to be keeping communication with the person that's helping you. And we need to now slide that over the pole jack. Once we have that set up, we have our chains. The chains that go around the pole, fit them into the lugs that they require, depending on the width of the pole, um, how, how long your chain's going to be, obviously. The chain will go around the pole, and again, fit into the coupling. This chain can be reasonably tight or loose, regardless. Once we've got that chain attached, we then flick that lever up and that will drop down. What that does is it tightens the chain against the pole. Once we have this set up, we then hook our hydraulic hoses up and we're right to go. So when packing the unit away, you do that in reverse sequence as to what you've just been shown. It is important when utilising the new Tiger pole jack to make sure that you utilise the correct manual handling techniques. You can do this by making sure you bend your knees and keep a straight back when coming down and manoeuvring the components. It is important to consider not twisting while bending. For any more information, contact Technical Training.